guys welcome or welcome back if you don't know who i am my name is Reese, and this is my beauty channel as you can see i'm looking a little crusty i ain't wearing a wig but i have my beautiful beautiful best friend being my muse my model doesn't she look good in red she owns the color red period okay but before we get started don't forget to subscribe down below and pressing that red button and by the way this hair is brought to you by staria hair company so of course i'm going to show you what's inside this box how i bleach this unit as well as how i customize this unit as well as a full install and styling tutorial so if that's something you're interested in then definitely keep on watching bye Lisa, do you think you overdid it with our hair? Uh-uh. Nope. I sure don't. Because we going to Beverly Hills. Now, if I'm going to do good at that audition, we got to look like stars. So, in this box, I received a head wrap, some eyelashes, a super cute elastic band with some Velcro at the end, another head wrap, and a silk, or actually a wig cap, a edge control brush and a silk wig bag this unit is an 18 inch kinky curly afro human hair wig she is 99j burgundy a beautiful color with a natural hairline 13 by 4 lace wig at 180 percent density So we're gonna bleach these knots with BW2 powder, 40 volume developer. We're gonna mix that up and create a nice thick consistency. Then we're gonna get our got to be glue blast free spray, spray the hairline, comb it back, and then apply our bleach. I left that on for about 20 minutes. I left it on for a while. <laughs> so definitely keep an eye out to avoid over bleaching. So this is the unit the next day. Look at how bomb the curls are looking. The color is beautiful. Hair is shining, but my best friend wanted straight hair instead. So this is going to be a quick tutorial on how I straighten my curly units. So I'm gonna take my Righteous Growth Blow Dry Spray and spray that all throughout the hair. Then I'm gonna use my blow dryer with a comb attached to it and we're going to test the bottom of this unit just to see uh, just in case like you know if it works or not so here i'm doing the chase method with my high flat iron when testing out the small piece of hair at the end of the unit i did do about three to four passes each track um, or each piece that i did to see or just to test it out and see how hot it can get and bone straight it can get and look at the results it's super silky and shiny and i just love the feeling of curly hair being straightened because it gives that natural hair look and then it gets it just looks very very natural on um my client which is my best friend so yeah so it ended up working really good so i ended up blow drying the whole hair i tried to blow dry as much as i could and got rid of all the curls as much as i could and the bumps just so it can be an easier process for me to straighten this unit After that, I then separated this hair in sections so I could um, straighten it track by track and make sure everything is bone straight, okay? Because we want it as straight as possible. And this is the results. Look at how gorgeous it looks and how flowy. So here I'm just going to pluck a little bit of the hairline. The knots actually kind of over bleached a little bit, a little bit, but you can't even tell whatsoever. So um, if you do like, you know, don't want to pluck as much definitely over bleach this unit a little bit so um, you don't have to work as hard when customizing um, and then here I'm just going to add some layers so what I do is part the hair in the middle because I am doing a middle part on her and then taking that middle part and creating a nice little triangle and then cutting the bangs So once we have the bangs cut, then I basically di cut diagonally and make sure everything is even. So I just part the hair 
face it 90 degrees and then make sure like everything is cut evenly i have a layering tutorial already so that's why i'm speeding past this so this video won't be too too long but this hair i just love like you know the texture of this hair it gives me very much pressed natural look it's so gorgeous and this color is so vibrant i love it So you guys, we are ready to install this unit. So I like to clean off the surface before doing this bald cap. Um, I always do bald caps when it comes to colored wigs. But yeah, I do the same exact technique as I would on myself. So you already know if you are an OG on my channel, you already know what's about to happen. But if you're new, I like to play some music, especially the music that you heard in the intro, just to vibe out and watch me install this unit. And then, you know, when the song is done, I'm going to come back to you and explain the styling portion. It's not my fault You've been lying saying that I took away your peace Drowning by yourself, now you wanna blame me Like you have no options I ain't take your options Now I'm not the problem Man, that's on you You've been terrorizing me, yeah, I'm always wrong I knew you lost your mind when you dropped that bomb Girl, are you crazy? Yeah, you must be crazy I've been thinking lately Lately it's you You stole your peace, put it on me Maybe it's you Lying like a rat But take your stuff back Maybe it's you And I would never hear You've been flexing everywhere Girl, look in the mirror Man, you so dirty Yeah, you look so dirty You were never worthy Lately it's you You stole your peace Put it on me But baby, it's Lying like a rat, but take your stuff back, baby. It's you. Father time, then I would change the honey. So I never saw your face. I please. What do I have to do to make you do? Yeah. 
So after I pan curl it, I like to use my hairspray to just finish it off. And then a little bit of the um, silk mist. This stuff smells so good. I put this on all my wigs, especially the wigs that I sell because it just makes everything fresh, clean, and the hair super shiny. Puff says hi, by the way, you guys. <laughs> but here I am working on the baby hairs. I like to pluck a little bit, then press it out with a flat iron, or no, a hot comb, and then curl it with a pencil flat iron, and then get the C curls going. I feel like doing baby hairs on other people's easier than doing it on myself because my hand is more like, I don't know. It just, it's like working on a canvas. It's easier to paint than it is to paint on yourself, you know? But look at how bomb these curls look in. The lace melted really, really good. So um, Astaria hair did its thing. I just love how you could really customize this unit, even though it was super, super curly, like it was a jerry curly type of texture and I was able to straighten it and the hair, turned out so beautiful um i just finished doing my best friend's makeup skin looking good all that she looks gorgeous and here i'm taking out the pen curls what i highly suggest if you are doing pen curls do it before like you know curl your hair before your makeup and then while you're doing your makeup it gives your curls time to cool off and have that very voluminous um look it gives that 70s um hair style look i made her shake her hair and then um here i'm just going to cut a little bit more in the bang area but look at how voluminous this hair turned out and it looks very natural because it has that like yakky texture so it's like a nice natural silk press um that you would do for your natural hair so it looks very very cute and just you know I keep saying natural, but it looks very natural. But this is the final result. She looks gorgeous. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye.